What's going on guys, it's me, Wired Kill. And finally I'm gonna make this video because more people want to have the more tips, the more tricks, the more everything because they wanna be just like Wired Kill. So I'm gonna tell you the most important things that you need to step I'm done doing that voice. The most important things you need to step up your game. Um <clears throat> because I realize that I did like a, a sexy little <clears throat> cough back there. But uh, a lot of people were like, you know, save a, it's not all about your focus. You know, you got to have a setup and whatnot. And you know what? That's completely true. Um, but with that video, I didn't have much time to fit all that in there. So I guess I could fit it into here. So we're going to probably talk mainly about setup and stuff like that in this video. Um, the setup that you use for your Xbox, PC, we're talking about Xbox in this case. Um, it... It really, really is a big impact on how good you are. Like, if I'm not using my setup, I will do shit. Like, you get used to that setup, you do good, but you gotta make sure you have a good setup in the first place, or else you're pretty much getting used to playing like shit, you know what I mean? Um, now, what I do is, and I see a lot of, or some other people doing this, but it really helps me out is, I cannot play good when I have the controller in my lap. Like, I have to have the controller on top of a desk or something um, so I need to have my hands resting on top of a table like that's what I do and that makes me really uh, good um, when I play Call of Duty or any other game uh, so you guys might want to try that out uh, it's a really good tip I mean I know that some people can't do that because I mean their TV might be too big and they don't want their face inside of it but I'm using a small uh, television so it doesn't impact me whatsoever in fact it's made for up close but you know I can understand that some people don't have that and then sitting uh, with the controller in your lap would be completely understandable probably won't make that much of a difference but yeah another one is what kind of technology are you using with your Xbox or your television anything like that the better the technology the better your game was going to be for example, I could play on my television through the speakers, but I still wouldn't do as good because I can't really hear what direction the footsteps are coming in, you know? Um, so number one, you should really, really have a good, decent headset. I mean, if you want a cheap headset, go with the X11s from Turtle Beach. If you want a medium range headset, X31s, I believe is what the, they are. Uh, it's pretty much wireless surround sound. And then if you really, really got the money and, like, the best quality there is out there, go for the Astro A40s. They're wireless 7.1 surround sound, amazing quality. I'm getting some soon. Um, and another thing is, like, what kind of controller are you using? Now, I know that most of you are probably already using a Microsoft controller that came with the Xbox, perhaps. But I would definitely recommend staying away from third-party controllers. And I mean, even the really good reputation ones. Because I have a Razer, uh, what's it called, Anza? Um, Onza, Anza, whatnot, and pretty much that controller was supposed to be good, but turns out it breaks really easy. I'm out of time, guys. I'll make another one of these videos. Word kill out. I love you.